London is such a beautiful city. Hey guys, so I thought I should take you out around London at night, hoping that the cameras would capture something. Last night I was out driving around and I was looking at the city thinking this is the most beautiful city I've ever been in and I live in it and therefore I don't appreciate it as much as I should. So I thought I should try and film it at night, see what happens. So now we're coming up to Sloane Square. This square is quite famous and I spent a vast amount of my youth hanging out in bars and restaurants here. It's always packed and busy on weekends and evenings, but it's not very warm today and it's fairly late, I think. Right in front of us is Tiffany & Co. We have Rag & Bone, which is a new shop that's opened here on the corner, but nothing fancy. But on the left-hand side, we have Cartier, Smithson, um, Hackett. I think this is the Danish embassy on the left, as you can see with the flags. So now we're coming up to Knightsbridge. So there's one Harrods here and then there's another one that is now closed down, which was in Argentina. I think in Buenos Aires. It's a beautiful department store and they're quite well known or famous for their shop window displays. At the moment, they are showing Aston Martin. So I will stop somewhere and show you. Obviously, now, after the Geneva Motor Show. That's what they have in the window. This thing is an absolute beauty. the herringbone check the rest no so that's Burberry that one is Tom Ford but both Yves Saint Laurent and Bottega Veneta haven't done a very good job
I hate this stop-start mode in the car. But today I am driving around London very casually, slowly. And it's nice when I stop at a traffic light, the engine cuts out and it's peace and quiet and complete silence. And if anyone's interested, I'm filming at night, pitch black outside, using the Leica. So, as you can see, it films really well at night. By the way, um, I normally just put normal fuel in the car, as in normal diesel, but yesterday I put in super diesel just to see if that makes any difference. And oh boy, it does make a massive difference. Normally, with ordinary diesel, I drive the car in sport mode so I get a bit more oomph and better performance. But with this super diesel, I'm driving it in normal mode and I'm getting the same performance that I get in sport mode. So it's really great. Um, I don't know why diesel Panameras are more expensive than petrol Panameras. Because I was looking online at the spec of the new one and I was thinking if the diesel and the petrol have the same consumption then why would I buy a diesel because it's more expensive. If anyone knows why, do let me know, do comment because I'm quite interested in knowing why diesel cars are more expensive because diesel is more expensive than petrol, at least in England and then it's a bit more noisy so I don't know why uh, we may pay more for diesel engines and don't tell me it's to do with the environment because they've been expensive long before the environment issues came about I used to think that it was because they did better miles to a gallon and they were more efficient but now petrol engines are doing the same especially in the new Panamera it's about I think if I'm not mistaken I don't have the numbers at hand but I think it's about 10,000 pounds more expensive than the petrol one and I think that was the same case when I was buying this this was more expensive than the petrol but it had more torque and better fuel economy for such a big beast. Isn't this the most magnificent city on the planet? It is, most certainly. I'm not just saying that because I live here. I've traveled extensively and when it comes to architecture, cleanliness and people and hustle bustle, the whole package put together, this is just amazing. Hello again. So I thought I should stop somewhere and get some food. Um, there's a very nice Lebanese place on King's Road where I always come. Even though I wanted Chinese food today, I couldn't think of any Chinese restaurant um, that I could get food to take home with me quickly. But this place you can get Lebanese food. So I got some and now I'm going to head home and try to edit these videos. My eye is recovering, but it's still extremely red. I look like one of those uh, back from the dead people. It's red and yellow inside, it's really disgusting. So, as you can probably see, my I'm wearing my glasses, but there's no lens here. So I removed the lens because now I don't need glasses because they've put uh, an implant, um, which is a lens that fixes my eyesight and also it's computerized so it gives me all the data, the weather and all the other things as well which is really awesome. 
I think that in the near future they'll bring out some more technology so if you're fixing the car you can just see all the electrics and mechanics and things through your lens. Yeah, that would be awesome.